broke that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. That kind of looks like a skull. You have like a chunk of it right here. Again, individually, you would call it the ribs. The whole thing is the skeleton. In the old days, you would use those. Uh, you would take like a, the ribs can be sometimes 10 feet long. And they'd make a hole in the ground, build a wooden frame around it, and then cover that frame with these things. Plaster that with grass and mud, that was called a pit house. And the Spanish used these as kind of part of their ceiling, they put them up like that. Is that your stick? That's actually one of those. Well, this is Was there water in this over here at one time? Uh, that was a flood control project. When this was a farm, they had problems with flooding. That was a CCC project, Civilian Conservation Corps, one of the things Roosevelt did for the Depression. And they were out here in 1938 39. Oh, by hand? Yeah, pretty much. Maybe some dynamite. Any of these, like this one right here, I don't know if they're right. How tall do I'm usually get? Are they average? This thing looks like it's probably. Yeah, and they, they can get over 50. I would say more common is going to be somewhere around 30 or 35. But they can get better than 50 feet tall. These are called yuccas. Well, this is a soap tree that people would take the roots and part of the trunk, boil that up, and that makes good soap. That green leaf is part of a local basket. That with bear grass or cattail is the basket. If you see black in the weave, it's this thing. This is a seed pod called the devil's claw, which is a low-growing plant. So you can soak it in water and pull black fibers off of it. That's woven into your basket's design. The seeds are an excellent source of dietary oil or fat. And the bruise made into a sand work well for rheumatism. That's the double squaw. It's old badger girl right there. Got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job, the ends are kind of pointy. 